I have people inside Watson's camp that I've spoken to. I do have sources inside the Texans. I'll tell you right now, do I think the Dolphins and Texans are speaking to each other the last couple of days? I don't, because I think that things have sort of solidified between these two teams, at least at this moment, where the Texans are look like, look, this is what our stance is. This is the compensation that we want. The Dolphins are saying there's a lot stacked up against this guy right now, and and for the price to be the same compensation back in January that you were turning down. In Jan- I mean, I know for a fact they were offered three firsts and three thirds from a team and turn their nose up at it because they were like, we're not moving them. And so, you know, I think the Dolphins are like, look, we know where we are here. It's basically us. They're just sort of staring at each other right now trying to figure out whether one's going to blink. You haven't said it, but Mike Florio reported that they're mounting chatter that the franchise quarterback would be traded in the in the coming days. A couple of NFL executives have told him that. Everyone keeps talking about, and, and you mentioned this too, seeking protection against the mm-hmm. possibility that Deshaun misses time. What does that look like? What does that? How do you get that kind of protection if Deshaun ends up playing for several for an entire year, and then right. the issues crop up? What does that look like? Have you heard? Every other team I've spoken to that that has looked into this or had conversations has said pick protection. And I'll tell you what, one general manager said to me, I thought this was great. First conversation we had when I walked into his facility um, in, in, you know, during the training camp tour, um, he said, I don't know what's going to happen five minutes after I pull the trigger on a deal. He said, that's what scares me is, is I, I have no clue what's coming, you know, right after I do it. What if there's more here that we can't see right now? Because obviously we did not see what was coming in March. And, um, so what he said was there has to be an element of, you know, if he, if he gets suspended, if there is, um, you know, there's, he gets indicted by a grand jury, these picks deescalate you, you, the first round picks become second round picks, or if he plays out an entire season and the majority of the pick package is something that kicks into gear for the 2022 draft. Um, well, then maybe they're sending us picks back. So, in other words, if he's suspended in 2022, if he doesn't see the field in 2022, now they're going to send us picks back because we don't have a player. Mm. Mm. No, we don't want that. So, are we? <laughs> we are we? Are we, uh, do, are we hearing any? Do you think any behind the scenes? Any of these teams are hearing from the commissioner's office about the exempt list? I can tell you, the Dolphins have definitely pressed um, the league office for clarity on what's going on. The league's position, from everything I've been told from the teams that, that have tried to get some clarity on this, is you know our position. We haven't done anything. He's not on the exempt list, and as far as what you're seeking right now, you see you see the process of, of our investigation at this point. It's bore out um, what it's bore out. He wouldn't be on the field right now if we felt like you know we had the information in hand to take him off the field. Now, the league, though, is like this is not done. It is not concluded. Yes, he is still under investigation. Yes, there's still work to be done here. And there will be an interview at some point between Lisa Friel, the, the league's investigators, and Deshaun Watson. But that is not happening now, and it's not going to happen until we know we're not going to you know, uh, step on someone else's uh, toes in terms of the, the criminal aspect of this. Charles, I don't know about you, but I we, we have thought here – that this isn't going to he there's no way they can trade him the teams just couldn't take all of the risk on that the Texans have well without giving up without taking 50 cents on the dollar without taking yeah much less than he's worth and the Texans would be dumb to do that because they can trade him next off season your gut your gut does this thing that is he is he a Texan at next week the one thing that that happened yesterday that gives me pause is that Brian Flores had the opportunity to mm-hmm. say to reporters without speaking to Sean Watson's name, we have our quarterbacks, our depth chart is set at quarterback, we're done. And he didn't do that. Instead, Brian Flores pretty much tiptoed around answering any questions that would have revealed how how committed they are to, to a tongue of Aloha at this point. So I, I, I really truly believe that the door is still open here. As you said, is it a situation where the Texans take, you know, 60 cents on the dollar, 70 cents on the dollar. I, I think there is a chance because when I talk to people inside the Texans, there is one factor here that still is there. They know the compensation, frankly, can get worse. And if he gets indicted on a felony charge um, and goes on the exempt list, you have a whole other matter on your hands. Just, I think people should remember, it can get worse. I mean, even the Dolphins at some point 
to look at this and go, there's no way this isn't worth this. And by the way, Tua could go out and light it up in the first month of the season and the Dolphins could go, you know what? Change their mind. The owner doesn't, you know, he's not even remotely interested in entertaining this. An owner who, by the way, was very much behind the Tua pick. So as bad as it looks right now, there's an element of, of potential deterioration. <laughs> That's Charles Robinson. Senior NFL reporter for Yahoo Sports lives right here in the city of Houston. Mm-hmm. From, right. He moved from Chicago, if I remember correctly, Charles. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice job. Well, so did you I, Charles. You know what Charles. John brought into dinner today Su- uh, for breakfast this morning? Sugo. Sugo. His own yeah. homemade Sugo with, yeah. with rigatoni. If you stop by the house, Charles, you can get some Sugo, too, anytime. Okay, that's happening for sure. Just, okay. You know, Text me your dress. <laughs> <laughs> no, he means it. See, no, he I, I mean coming. it too. No, I mean it too. 